Right, I just hiking and thought I'd uh, cover something in the APAC. Check out this giant back here. This is Angelica atropurpurea, Angelica atropurpurea, otherwise known as the Great Angelica. Let's go take a look. Before I really start talking about this, I wanna show you how big this plant is behind me. It's a herbaceous plant, which means that it's, it dies back every year. It's a perennial. Look at this. This isn't, this isn't even the biggest one I've seen. Look at that. Look how tall it is. Angelica has these giant firework type of inflorescence in the APACE. So it's in the APACE, the carrot family, um, which has a lot of toxic plants. But one thing about carrots is you see this, you see the sheathing ax action. So when it, when the leaf, the leaves come off, they form this, this sheath up, and then it looks like the stem comes up. And you see that with, with things in the carrot family, as you can see down here as well the myths on where the name Angelica came from, it just means angel, uh, is that uh, is that this angel showed up to the monk, this monk, and said, hey, uh, I've got these healing properties in this plant, which was an Angelica that can cure the plague. And the story on where the name Angelica came from is that it was uh, because it blooms, um, this genus blooms the same time as the festival of St. Michael the Archangel. That's why it's called Angelica. Uh, so who knows, honestly? in high quality wetlands. Oh, uh, by the way, atropurpurea just means dark purple. Atropurpurea just means dark purple. It has this glaucous stem, this glaucous, so it's like a waxy coating stem. And check out these leaflets. Look at these. So each one of these, these giant things here coming off that, that this stem is a leaf. This is all one big leaf. It's all one big leaf. And these are all leaflets. Actually, try to find a smaller one somewhere in this. We are in a kind of a a, a seepy, somewhat fenny, or more circumneutral seepy uh, area with Celtopalustris. Attempt to find smaller ones. I just found bigger ones, which is fine because some of these have uh, smaller flower heads lower in, on their stalk, so I can talk about those. But in front of me, I uh, I found one that's not flowering yet, so we can take a look at the leaves. How's that? So each one of these, this is a whole leaf again, and this is a compound leaf. So this is one leaf. You can see again that glaucous stem. It's going to be discolored, so it's going to, bicolored, so it's going to have a darker green and a lighter whitish green on the underside, hairless. It's going to have toothed leaflets, toothed leaflets, often with this thumb. Look at this thumb here, a little lobe there as well. You can see these leaflets. So you see this compound, this compound... Um, uh, leaf. These uh, inflorescences are in an umbel, in a umbel, kind of this global umbel. So an umbel, think of an umbrella, is an inflorescence type where all of the, where all of the flower stalks come to one central point, like an umbrella, like a spokes of the umbrella. And then these are called umbelettes. So you can see the little flowers, the five parted flowers. So things in the APAC are going to have five power parted flowers, um, five par parted flowers. Uh, this is a pollinator magnet insects love this in short insects love this plant they have these yellowish green flowers five parted with the stamen see these those long stamens uh surpassing the petals surpassing the petals and the, again these are called umbelettes the little umbels on the umbel is called umbelettes really cute name umbelettes so let's go up here and take a look well i don't know what's going on here. oh that leaf is down uh so you can see these big they look like big sparklers. Anyway, this is a, a native plant. Uh, it occurs in the northeastern United States, the northeastern United States, um, and uh, just awesome, giant, beautiful perennial plant. Uh, so yeah, Angelica atropurpurea, Angelica atropurpurea, the the great purple Angelica.